open Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix. A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles, and it's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight racetrack. The drivers can expect some intense G-forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Alexander Albon and Perez, Kvyat, Stroll, Ocon and Antonio Giovinazzi, Blue, Norris, Max Verstappen, and Gasly, Magnussen, Russell, Daniel Ricciardo. They've taken a grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi, Raikkonen, and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Okay, how was the pull away? You'll have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
we're approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. Front is a second a lap faster, one second. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. Strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake. Use overtake. Lando in the pits. Gap behind is 2.1 seconds.
front is 5.6 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Another excellent win from Ferrari. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. After today's performance, Valtteri Bottas secures the championship lead. Now, let's discuss, Ants, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next.